Ding 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 ding. Bubble time. I am Teresa Tomey. And I am Patrick Ziegler. And we are Bubble Entertainment. And this is Bubble Time. What is with your face? I'm giddy. I'm being giddy. Because we're going to be talking Lucille Ball today. I know. I know. With a good friend, friend, too. So that makes me happy. I was going to say, well, long-standing friend. So you are just going to be a kid in a candy shop today. (laughs) I was actually in the green room while they were chatting in the green room. I was like, I wonder how much I'll contribute to this conversation today. You will. I gave you uh, stuff. Questions. (laughs) But I was going to ask those anyway, so there wasn't anything that surprised I, me in there. I don't have to worry about that. And you've been around this group. I um, have. I've met your Lucy friends, and they are lovely people. So, um, right. And this guy helped me get to the TV Land Awards. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so we love Michael for lots of reasons. Uh, but I'm going to read you his bio right now. Most Great. most number one fans are self proclaimed. That's true. But in Michael Stern's case, no, no, no. The title was awarded to the most marvelous Lucille Ball herself. Michael spent his teen years at every studio in Hollywood by attending the filmings of such iconic shows as Chico and the Man. Where he I love that. Oh my God. Their mascot. I one, think of, one of the best theme songs. Chico. I know you love, you love Chico and the Man. <laughs> Um, uh, Welcome Back, Cotter, Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, Hollywood Squares, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, which is amazing because if you see this guy, you're like, oh, dude, he's right? great. Yeah. Where he became friends with Betty White. We love Betty. Uh, hey, the Betty. Carol Show, we love Carol, whom he remains extremely close with to this very day. And here's Lucy, where he, of course, became good friends with Lucille Ball. From that friendship, he has written his memoir, I Had a Ball, My Friendship with Lucille Ball. Uh, and is the only Lucy book to be authorized by both her children, Lucy and Arnez and Desi Arnez Jr. He also shares his backstage stories about other celebrities, including Florence Hendr- Henderson, who wrote the foreword to his current um, edition of, of I Had a Ball. And we're going to give you information on how to purchase that book. Because we because people have already been asking. Because people have been asking, because we uh, we know you're excited about it. And there is a big movie premiering, uh, just premiered. And yeah. uh, we're going to be talking to him about that. In addition to this, he's done some other really fascinating things. Uh, and he is he is definitely a man about Hollywood. And so we are excited to have him with us here today. Michael Stern, welcome. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I was just, I can't put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Oh, it's such a good book. Teresa, where's it your really book? It really is. Kindle? She's got it on Kindle. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, hi there, yeah, everyone. And, and uh, on page 11, I'm referenced as others. Yes. <laughs> others. Yeah, and yeah, you're so the we other. were, yeah, when we were in the green room, Michael said, Patrick, you get a shout on it in this. And he said, what, on page 11? He says, I think. And Yeah, the, yeah, and the rest. And the rest. And the rest. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> He's it's okay. Yeah. My sister and my brother are done by page like six. So at least you get to be till page 11. So that's pretty well, good. That's great. That's yeah. great. That's good. Nice. Well, hi, Michael. Thank you for being here. It, um, nice seeing you. It's kind of becoming a Lucy month. The person that we met with last week um, actually um, worked with Lucy Arnaz and Larry Luckenbill. And Desi came to the sh- uh, show and he ended up on a chair singing Babalu at the restaurant. Wow. That's <laughs> I pretty know. Cool. Isn't that fun? And then uh, Lucy and Larry left them um, their uh, baby, what was it, Teresa? Baby carrier or whatever. Their, their uh, baby seat for the back, like a car carrier. like a. They're missing a child. Was the child no. still in there? <laughs> no, they just gave them that. So they ended up, that was the carrier that they used. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. So, so we have somebody here, Henry. De Maderos. De Maderos. That's the way yeah. I'm going to pronounce it. De Maderos. Hi, Henry. 
Hi, Henry. Thanks for joining us. Henry's been with us before, so thank you for joining us again. Yay. I believe Henry's been with us before, so thank you. Uh, we so know Michael, some folks are out there because we can see we've got eyeballs on, but thank you, thank you for joining us. Join the conversation. Yeah. If you want to ask a question of Michael, we have some prepared, but you are always welcome to join us. Can I call in and ask a question? Oh, look at you, old school. <laughs> I love it. Um, it's fun. We'll let people know where you are also right now, which is kind of interesting, but we always start out our show with this kind of question-ish, is where, when, how did you get bitten by, we say the creative bug, but in your world, it's a little bit more than just performing or anything like that. So when did you first remember going, I want to be part of that Hollywood world? Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty easy. Um, I used to go to TV shows as a kid. I mean, my first one I went to, believe it or not, and this is going to date me big time. <laughs> I went to the Ed Sullivan show. Oh, wow. But it was at the Hollywood Bowl. It was the 20th anniversary special. And so there were like 7,000 people there. And I didn't even know who Ed Sullivan or anybody was. Um, actually, Shirley Jones was a guest. Oh, my God. Uh, Minnie Pearl. <laughs> the Lennon sisters. And I cannot tell you who else was there, but I remember that night being really excited. I mean, it was exciting. And then um, I went to uh, the Here's Lucy show. Was that, the, was I, that the next one you went to? I, I, I'm going to say yes. I do remember probably before that we had tickets to the dating game. Oh, oh my God. God. And I got, we weren't allowed in because I was too young. I was going to say, that's kind of a saucy uh, show for a little Michael. Yeah, Lincoln. I was too young. And I'll never forget that I got turned away. And it was very sad. Um, so, now, I mean, let's jump ahead 40 years. What I do now is I fill the audiences for the Dr. Phil show. And I make sure that no one ever gets turned away. Unless if they're like 12, because you have to be 16. But okay. I never turn anybody away. Just, I won't do it. Um, <laughs> Mickey asks, were you five years old? Actually, I was close. I was seven, I think, or eight. I was- When you when you went to uh, yeah, the Hollywood Bowl? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think so, I, I was young. I was young. But uh, so, that everyone could have gone to as well. But, but it wasn't, I mean, when did, okay, now I'm going to try to date you. I guess I won't have to do, I'm like, dude. How can you be seven years old going to the Ed Sullivan show? How long did that show run? It went to oh, the seventies. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, then you know what? Yeah, maybe I was yeah. ten at the most. Oh my yeah. gosh, I didn't realize it. I'm like, what are you, seventy two? You look so. No, good. I'm. I'm actually going to be. Believe it or not, this year I'm going to be thirty eight. Go. Oh, that makes more yeah. sense. Yeah. I mean, Patrick used to uh, watch me as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did, Michael. Yeah. Yes. Um, no, I turned 60 this year. 60. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I know okay. 60. Wow. So anyway. But um so you just mentioned Dr. Phil. And right. so we were gonna tell people that's where you are right now. I'm at the your... Dr. Phil offices right now. Yeah. Um, so we, can you tell us a little bit about, about a half hour ago? What your seat filler, but how does that work? What what is that? Oh I'm not I, a seat filler. I'm me... the audience producer. Audience producer. Uh, producer. Okay. I produce the audience every single day and I've been doing it. The show's been on for 20 seasons. This is my 17th season. Yeah, it's wow. amazing. I know. Wow. And we're almost done. Uh, 17 and a half seasons already. And we feel up until the pandemic, pandemic, we had about 300 people live in the studio audience every day. So one of my jobs is to make sure that we don't end up with 350 people one day or 250. Right. I do it. It's like a recipe. I get 300 people every day. Wow. And um, they come from all over the world. I mean, all over the world. This year, our audiences are a little smaller because everyone has to be vaccinated and mm -hmm. with proof and all that. And we also have a virtual audience to look like this. And I bring in about 100 people every day, literally from all over the world. Um, so if, if uh, Joan uh, is sitting in Sheboygan watching right now, how does somebody uh, get a ticket sure. to go, go see to the Dr. Dr. Phil? They, easy. They go to drphil.com, fill out the little questionnaire, 
and we'll get them uh, on TV. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, we gave out some nice prizes for uh, the virtual audience. <gasps> and you get a car, and you get no. Uh, well, it was close. Um, it was a couple of gift cards to Amazon, and they were a couple hundred bucks. Nice. Right. Um, some like we gave out a book today, so everyone received a free book or yesterday. So do you have to manage um, that stuff too, or do they have somebody that manages that piece of it? I do that too. Oh, you do. Oh okay. yeah, but. Um, if you come to the actual live viewing, uh -huh. uh, we've been giving out really nice gifts the last couple of weeks. Everyone who's in the studio audience receives a really nice gift. Nice. Hey. So and, a nice little perk at this time of the year. And share what studio lot you're on. I'm at, well, I'm at Paramount Studios, the former home of Desi Lou. Nice. And before that was RKO. And actually, I know we're going to talk about it, but being the Ricardos, the new movie that's coming out, they actually recreated the the drive through where you come in to the studio lot that says Paramount. They made it to look like Desi Lou Studios. So they mm -hmm. shot Dr. Phil stage as the oh. you know, RKO or Desi Lou. But, so, so th because I haven't seen it. Um, you haven't? <laughs> Let me tell you how like, it ends. It's not yeah, I know. In, in Douglas, Michigan. Horse? Um, so I'm curious, is that the only Desi Lu studio they show? Because there were a few before I know they were at Paramount. They shot. No, actually there was, well, they showed the outside. I think they showed two studios. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, before so, we get into the movie, yeah. um, I, I want to just go back on your career a little bit okay. because Patrick did mention seat filler. You have done seat filling work too. Years ago. Um, yeah, that was, yeah, I love that. I used to uh, work for a company and we filled, my job was to have people sit in their right seats. And it being a seat filler, which means if Barbara Streisand happens to get up, we have somebody sit there. on the sides to sit in her seat until she comes back. Or there's a chance that Barbara Streisand may not return. So uh -huh. I will then have that person sit in the seat the entire time. For instance, at the 1989 Academy Awards. Yes, I was just going to ask you this. I was a seat filler and I was supposed to sit anywhere. But this redheaded woman named Lucille Ball gave me her tickets because she said, I'm not going to sit in the audience. I'm going to do my thing with Bob. Then we're leaving. Bob Hope. Mm -hmm. And so I sat in her seats the entire night. Nice. And she does a little wave she does she she waves to me on the show it's really Yay. sweet and that's and that's her last appearance on her last appearance yeah yeah oh yeah. and you were a part of it that's i really was i really was and it's very sweet and um something i'll never forget yeah so, that's, so, so let's go let's go back oh here kevin's got two questions kevin has two yeah mm -hmm. I've read every book on Lucy, including yours. What's Thank something you. we don't know about Ms. Ball? What's your opinion of Gary Morton? Okay. Well, let's do number two first. All right. Yeah. My opinion of Gary Morton, there's a lot of things that have been said about him. And I think I'm the only one who actually likes the man. He was mm -hmm. very nice to me every time. I was a young kid. Maybe I was no threat to him or... But you know what? He always treated me well with respect and we always got along. Maybe it was two Jews that got along. I don't know. But we, he was never mean to me, um, always let me in. And so I have nice things to say about him. You know, I will he, say the same thing um, from Tom Watson. And I will say the same thing that I've heard from Stuart Shostak, both speak highly of him as well and oh, say good. that okay. he was nice. And Mary Jane uh, said nice things about him as well. So. And then I could give you a list of people who <laughs> didn't love him, but you know yeah. what? He, he, he was great to me, you know, so I'm not going to knock him, you know? And for the people out there that don't know, Gary Morton was Lucille Ball's second husband and they were married for over 25 years. Yeah. Like 28 years. Yeah. Yeah. 
a long and, time. Um, Lucy had two great marriages. I mean, one didn't last, but but it was over and, 20 years, you know, so she really had two. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, can you say anything to Kevin's other question? Uh, what? She wasn't, a funny, don't know. she wasn't a funny person, but she could do funny things, as we all know. Mm -hmm. um, she was like a mom to me. She just treated me, you know, like if I ever had a problem or whatever, she would listen to me. And then if it was something really serious, she would say, go talk to your parents. You know, mm -hmm. what do they have to say about it? Um, but she always treated me like like a son. I remember one, one time in particular that she, I was walking from her front door to the street. And I mean, it, it was probably a hundred feet, 80 feet. And I didn't have a jacket and she was scolding me for not having a jacket. I'm going, no, no, I'll, <laughs> I'm going right to the car. It's fine. Michael, let me, here's a, here's a jacket. It's Desi's. Take it. <laughs> so I walked out with Desi's jacket, you know. And, nice. Um, Do you I still gotta, have that jacket? I hope. I got to return it. But, um, <laughs> it was so, a member. It was a members only jacket. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, and so, uh, but she was I like a mom know, to me, you know. I I want to know on this because this is part of our questions. So you meet her on Here's Lucy. Yes, is the first time you meet her. Talk a little bit about that, but I'm also so curious on how you became close with her enough to be welcomed into the home and the family. I mean, you're very close with Lucy Arnaz and um, uh, Desi is, you know, not, not, not as uh, present any, anymore as right. he used to be. And, um, but I'm just so curious because then, you know, the people out there, I was mutual friends with Frank and Frank was, you threw an amazing party for him. And so I you became- Frank's sister all the time okay yeah so tell, tell us how that how that kind of happened you know i met her on july 12th 1973 which was the third time that i actually went to the here's lucy filming and then i realized lucy's mom would go every time so i brought my scrapbook of photos and she said how would you like to meet lucy after the show i was 12. uh mm. the answer was yes oh. and so after the show we went to Lucy Lane, which was backstage of the Here's Lucy set. And it was built by the prop people to look like a street instead of just a, a wall. There was- um, And this her, is at Universal now, at right? At Universal it's, Studios. Okay. Um, behind her soundstage 24. But I mean, it was still on stage, but there was a makeup department. It looked like a storefront of the makeup and the props and the wardrobe. And Lucy Arnaz had a dressing room and uh, Gary, um, Gail Gordon had a dressing room. So she takes me back there to her dressing room. Uh, she was standing up on the staircase, maybe five steps. And um, she looked at my scrapbook. She went through it. And finally she signed an autograph for me and she gave me a kiss and off I went like she would never see me again. I just happened to see her over and over again. Not like a stalker at age 12 or 13, but <laughs> okay, maybe I was. Uh, no, but I just happened to see her from time to time because, oh, she's going to be at the Beverly Hilton Hotel for being a, at a charity event for Carol Burnett. Do you want to go? It's eight dollars and fifty cents. Oh. I don't have eight dollars. All right, we'll get you the eight dollars and fifty cents. And for eight fifty, it was a luncheon. It was a oh pure, my god! I saw the ticket. It was a luncheon at the Beverly Hilton Hotel with Carol Burnett, Mary Tyler Moore, Shirley MacLaine, Lucy, um, Tim Conway, Harvey Corman. Wow, oh, Michael! I, I could go up. Bernadette Peters. Or Clark was walking around the hotel, but I wouldn't even function if I was that. I mean, I don't know how I would have even functioned back then. Like my mind would have been so blown. Oh my gosh. It was, it was the only time I ever saw Lucy. I think it's the only time Lucy, Carol Burnett and Maritone were all together. Mm. And I was 14. 
I wish I had a camera. I did get all their autographs that day. Right. But I wish, wish, wish I had a camera to get all three together. And there is a group shot of them. It's like. I've ugh. seen that photo. They're holding some sort of heart. Right. Something. It was for a variety club. And is that what it was? was? Right. And so, so then how did you. So I was here. I was here from time to time. Bill. I want to What's let that? Bill know we're going to get to Bill's question too, but go ahead, Patrick. Yeah. So I was here from time to time. And finally, you know, she literally took me to the side and said, look, Michael, she knew my name. You could be my number one fan, but you better get a job and stay in school, get a job, stay in school. So that's when I really, I got a job working at the May company, um, like Macy's. Um, actually, we have service. We gave service then, not like Macy's. But uh, <laughs> you're not sponsored by Macy's, are you? No. No, no. no. <laughs> Good. Um, that's when we gave customer service. But I actually, she actually came to make sure that I was working. Oh, my God. Uh, and then once I, you know, she was there and all that, and there's some great stories, but um, she gave me her home phone number. She said, do you play back, Edmund? I said, no. She said, you'll learn. So oh from that God. day on, I was at her house maybe two, three days a week. I would work or go to school. And then it's like, and so you get a job and stay in school. But then. All of this is in the book. Yeah. And um, uh, I, I'm going to, we're going to come back to Lucy. I want to quick ask this question because I don't yeah. want to get in our stream. This comes from uh, Bill Long Wook. Uh, how hard was it to get a selfie with Barbara Streisand? I remember. My oh my gosh. Okay. Well, a little is, I was working a show. It was for a hurricane fundraiser. I mean, they weren't raising money to have hurricanes, right. but it was. <laughs> we know. Oh, well, I was going to make a terrible politically <laughs> no, no, no. incorrect joke. But I and it was that. at Universal Studios. It was no audience or anything like that. So um, everybody had a talent to work with, or I had to go in and out and all that. She's sitting inside, you know, answering phone calls, you know, like whatever. And I talked to. Uh, what's his name? Uh, her manager for the last like 60 oh. years. I know. And he's like Ernie, 91 Ernie, years old now. Ernie something, right? Is no. it Ernie? No, it's not Ernie. No? Somebody's going to write it right now. Um, yeah. So we, I was talking oh, to him. Carl, Carl Simpson, I think. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> She's making up a name. Yeah, no. um, it's going to kill me because I know his name. Um, but he had something to do with the Isle of Lucy 50th anniversary road trip. Like, um, Oh really? Yeah. He was one of the back that road, people. that road show that toured. Right. He has okay. something to do with, with it. And I had all, a lot of my Lucy collection. Right. In the uh, travel. So I talked to him for about 10, 15 minutes. I knew what I was going to do. Um, and then Barbara Streisand's like assistant, came by with her dog and another bag. And I said, oh, let me hold it for you. And so I'm holding it. Now it's the three of us. And I know I'm not going to leave this conversation. Marty Ehrlichman. Marty Ehrlichman. That's Kevin, it. Of course Thank you, whoever it. knew that. Kevin. Um, and he's like 91. Um, thank you, Kevin. Um, so now we're talking and the telethon's only an hour. So at like six o'clock, Marty said, well, let's go get Barbara. Okay. So now it's the three of us. We go get Barbara and now it's the four of us. And the first thing she says is, find me a bathroom. Okay. I know where it is. So we walk over there and it's four of us and we're talking. And then Marty had to go. And my friends earlier said, Michael, don't even ask. She doesn't take photos. Don't do it. Michael, don't waste your time. Just Get somebody else's photo. She will not do it. Okay. So I know it's a long story. Um, it's, good. it's interesting. Yeah. So Marty has to go get the car or something. So now it's only that woman who I don't know, myself <laughs> and Barbara Streisand. And I talk about Lucy to her. You know, hey, you know, there's a video. I mean, there's like an audio, which has been out in the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Let's the talk new podcast. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's talk to Lucy. And I remember Lucy would, I mean, Lucy would do all these seminars and people would say, do you know Barbara Streisand or whatever? And she said, 
I knew Barbara when she first started, you know, and I'm telling this to Barbara Streisand and she always said nice things about you and how talented you were. And, and finally I said, could I get a selfie with you? And she goes, oh, no, 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 I don't do selfies. I go, you know what? I respect that. I totally get it. And then about 30 seconds later, she said to her assistant, take out your camera, the assistant's camera. Let's take some photos. And we uh. took, she took about seven on her camera and she yelled at her for one because Barbara Streisand's mouth was open. Like, um, So then she said, give him that one. I'm not the one with the mouth open. So she, she okayed it. Like, that's the picture you're going to send to Michael. I wouldn't let her assistant get into the car until she emailed it to me because I figured once she's in that car. Yeah, 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 yeah. I send it off to like five, six people, friends, and two of them said, you are the king. <laughs> Barbara Streisand does not take selfies. And if you look at Barbara Streisand's websites, you, you just don't see them too often. Very oh. little. What, well, what is star karma? What, yeah. What is this? V O Y F Y I. Do we know what the, these are meaning? V O H dot F Y I. Don't know. Spammer. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Hi, Sophie. Are you a spammer? I don't know what it is. Maybe. Voice Maybe. of Hillary. I don't know. Uh, great, great story, story oh, Michael. Thank Thanks. Um, I, we're already at a half, almost at a half an hour and we have to go into the movie, but I love real quick that you did the, uh, what you did with Carol Burnett for the 50th anniversary, because it was so um, clever that, you know, going up on stage and saying, um, well, you know, Oh yeah. Okay. This one's faster. Story. And I had dinner with her. Like, I had dinner with her like three nights before, but, um, I was at the 50th anniversary of the Carol Burnett show, which was like four years ago now. Um, the first person asked a question. You know how she does the Q and A. The first person was a guy named Tom Selleck who asked a question, made it on the air. Second person was like Pat Boone, asked a question, got it on the air. And she goes, "Hi, Pat. Hi, you know Tom." And then it was me, and she was about to say my name, but then she probably realized, "Let's pick on somebody who like she doesn't know, like a real Q and A." And so I asked, I said, "I was at her show 40 years earlier to the day." 40 years. And I know that I was a young kid. And I said, I was trying to think of a question that no one ever asked you during the run of your show. And she said, what's that? I said, could I get a selfie? Because selfies weren't really invented. Right. Then. Right. Said, Come on up. So I took a picture with her. I mean, we talked for a second on the air and I got cut from the show. But and you did then, get the video. I got the, she gave me the video and then there was the DVD that came out and she said, Oh, you'll definitely be on the DVD. No. What they did was they took a portion from like middle through middle of the filming that portion. So I was never on, but I have a copy of it. Thanks to Carol Burnett. Well, because of Teresa Tomey, I got to have a be on stage with. Carol I love Burnett. that that's picture of you. That's amazing. Such a sweet yeah, that's that such a sweet. Picture. You could tell he was just like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> for my for my sixtieth birthday, um, Carol did a cameo. It wasn't cameo, but a real happy birthday, Michael salute to me. Yeah, it's like nice. so, so did Doctor Phil and yeah. Robin and um, a lot of other celebrities amazing. and family, but celebrities. It was so much fun. And family. But. And family. Yeah. <laughs> so, Teresa, uh, should we go into... Um, I think, yeah, I think timing-wise. Yeah, we have to. The movie. Uh, I think that Patrick probably doesn't want spoiler alerts, but I... Well, I, mean, I you just... Know the story. You know what the concept of the movie, right? Are we talking about being the Ricardos? Yeah. Yeah. yeah because yeah. you've seen it three times? So. Wait, the movie comes out Friday. And I've already seen it three times. Yeah, very fun. I was at the very, 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 very first screening of it. Right, um, you got you got right. invited and had a group come, uh, a specific aged group come yes. and see it, yes. right? I had to lie about my age and say I was 10 years younger than I was. <laughs> yeah, I lied. I had, for the first time ever, I now have a driver's license that says I'm 10 years younger. Nice. I wow. know. I've never had a, I never. So did lie. it change, has it changed much since that first screening? 
Um, they did cut out a couple little things and um, maybe a line here or there. And now there's music and the credits yeah. and all that. Yeah. But pretty much of what I saw two months ago is what you'll see now. Um, pretty much. But yeah, they tweaked it a little bit. Things that I wouldn't even remember or but well what's your biggest, what's your biggest takeaway that's what yeah I'm well the first time i saw it i personally didn't like it the second and third time i'm actually enjoying it because if you're a lucy expert a real lucy expert and you know everything so patrick take this advice and i told tom watson told rick carl i told a few other people go there for entertainment purposes only if you go there for entertainment you'll love it if you go there because this is wrong and this is wrong and that's wrong and this is wrong, you'll hate the movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But just go there for entertainment. It's a great movie. Yeah. This woman, Nicole Kidman, did a great job. I mean, she really did. I know everybody wanted Kate Blanchett and when she dropped out and then it became Nicole Kidman. The whole world poo-pooed her. You know, it's like, let her do her job. She's, she's a good actress. Yeah, and she was. She she really did a great job. Um, Javier Bad Badin, what was Bardem. 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 Sorry, uh, I had cocktails with him the other night. But, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, he was great, and he was so good I couldn't understand half the things he said in the movie. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, he was good. Yeah. Um, well, you know, it's interesting because right when it was announced about Kate Blanchett, um, I emailed Lucy. And I said, you know, wow, what great. I was actually excited about that. And then she was like, this wasn't supposed to be <laughs> said that it got to the news too quick. And I just said, I hope they find somebody equally as good for Desi. And she said, yes, and let us announce it. Well, then it completely changed. So I have to admit when I, when she did not, wasn't going to do it, I was a little disappointed, but from the trailers, all I can say is hearing that voice, you know, just listening to her, I was just like, wow, wow. So I, I haven't been reading reviews because I don't want to have prejudgments walking in. I started reading Tom Watson's and you said it and Lucy wrote fair and I stopped reading it because I didn't want it to, you know, well, Lucy, hinder... Lucy talked about it. Lu I mean, Lucy gave it positive feedback. Absolutely. She did. She didn't go into as much detail. No, no. And, no. and that's where I would. So the big stink is one of the big stinks is this whole myth of Vivian and Bill. Right. And you said you could speak to this and right from the source's well, mouth a little bit. Lucille Ball always said, and I don't know if she was saying it. Well, she always said it in crowds, you know, like, no, they got a lot. They were not palsy. I mean, they didn't go bowling every Thursday night together but they could work together and they did work together and they were, I mean, they, they were fine with each other. There's a scene near the end of the movie, which I won't go into, or maybe I will. No, no, uh, don't give anything away. Yeah. No, there's a scene near the end where Vivian and William Frawley and the young Madeline Pugh, um, not one of the, uh, you know, there were like few characters, they're not in front of like a whole large group. And William Frawley was like a softer person because he wasn't mm. like making jabs in front of like 40 people or 50 people, you know, then he would have gone to HR, but here it was a softer Fred or William Frawley or, so I liked it. I, I really liked, that's the way they really were probably. I mean, it, it, 70 years, nobody's alive anymore. Who was yeah. Good. Well, Keith, 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 but he was Keith fine. It. He was five. Yeah, yeah. And, well, Lucy was around some of it, and she was True. very young as well. She was also young, yeah. Um, and that's, that's And she didn't nice. hang out. I mean, what she said, she didn't hang out on the set every day, you know. Yeah. It was really special when she went to a filming. She wasn't there every week. I was always told that, um, and Mary Jane shared this a little bit, when Bill did his scene, he walked away and went and read the the racing papers <laughs> and they you know. show that on in the oh movie. do they oh yeah. yes oh yes but what, uh, what, what were you going to ask teresa were you going to say something no 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 no. go ahead uh, oh, jk no. simmons yes yeah. phenomenal 
Oh, he's great. a great actor. He was so good. I mean, and there's like, like I said, there's a lot of things that I didn't love. There's going to be a documentary that's supposed to be out right. at the end of December, but I haven't really? heard any press on it. Um, I think it's on Amazon only, Amazon Prime or whatever. I think directed by Amy Poehler, right? Ron Howard Production Company, um, a real documentary on Lucy and Desi. And they kind have of their love affair, right? It's right. They have like six hours of tape which they probably cut it down to two hours so some of us got cut again i i've been oh, no. cut four times in a piece of salami but um, oh. you know oh henry says i adored mary jane she was a Me wonderful too. woman she i only met her a dozen times well probably more i met her a lot. did you meet her on here's lucy uh no i saw her she was the first celebrity i saw on the here's lucy set but i don't think i met her until Honestly, like 1977 at Lucy Calls the President. Oh, really? And I remember her standing in front of like a doorway. And that's when I first met her. So, but I was 16 then. I mean, so I was still a young kid. What? Was what? Like, what, are you, what are you looking at? Ooh, I love that photo. Uh, there's Michael. I think I took that photo. I think this is from my collection. Um, really? That's... Michael with Mary Jane, Doris Singleton, who played Carolyn Appleby, and Shirley Mitchell, who played oh Marion Strong Ben Black. I see how I could play Telly Savalas in the next movie. <laughs> but there's a picture, I think it's, I now have it in the revised book, which I highly recommend. Um, yes, tell us about the revised book, because we're getting to the end. No, 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 no. Well, we could go through. We could preempt Judge Judy one time. You know, it's okay. Um, yeah, something's going on. Hold on. We've got a weird spam thing happening. Oh, no. I don't see it, but okay. It's all good. Um, the pictures that can be are in color. Um, okay. So that's oh, one okay. nice thing about the book. Um, also, the, like, for instance, color... Uh, oh, yeah. it's such yeah. a great picture. Yeah, I mean, just things are in color. I've added a couple extra stories, not a lot, but a few extra. I also, the foreword was written by Florence Henderson, you know, Carol Brady, Brady Bunch, yeah. uh, 21 days before she passed away. Just oh, 21 wow. days, three weeks to the day. Um, mm -hmm. And there's pictures of Carol Burnett. Um, I do have some extra photos in there that I like to share. Um, it's available on my website and it's on sale right now. Hello, sale. So how can we how can people get it? Through your website? If they, right. If they go to thelucyfan.com. Right there. Uh, heard it? Hello, thelucyfan.com. <laughs> Thank you for putting that up there. And yeah, and, and I'll go ahead, Teresa. I just I want to know as we close this out, what do you no. think it was? I know, isn't that crazy? It goes so fast. What what do you think it was that in like endeared Lucy to you? Like, what do you think it, what was the pull there? What do you, you think? Know, I don't know what she saw in me. I don't see what I see in me, but, um, uh -huh. you know, it, it was, I, we never, I never talked about I love Lucy or Desi unless if it was brought up or it was at a, uh, Q and a or whatever, but, we always talked about what was going in the world today and that mm -hmm. part. I mean, she's the one who taught me about AIDS. I mean, just, mm. wow. I, had cousin, I talk about, I had a cousin that was really sick and passed away and of cancer. She goes, Oh, was it AIDS? And I go, he wasn't gay. She goes, Michael, AIDS is not a gay disease. Really? Oh, I mean, she was telling me, I mean, I was like 23, you know, it's like she knew she was so smart. Um, but she just had this motherly thing with me and, uh, we had a 50, we were 50 years apart in age, but we just got along. And, um, I, I never knew how big of a star she was until after she passed away. I knew she was a big star, but I never realized that she was seen by everybody. Everybody knew who Lucy was. And that's sort of scary now. I mean, I sort of, I can't believe how famous she was because yeah, I remember yeah 
as a real person. And she was a real person. And uh, believe me, I then saw her on stage and that was exciting too. But um, we could talk about that another time. Who's your and guest next week? Let's bump your guest next week. Henry, Henry Lamar. Oh, uh, so. no, you can't bump him. We like Ju him. Judy Levin says, hi, Michael. Hi, Judy. You look good. <laughs> um, so the last time you did see her was on stage. Was, was was that the last time you saw her at the Academy Awards or did yeah, you see her yes again? No. I was okay. at her house a couple of days later, but she was sleeping on the couch. Oh. Yeah, so I didn't go, Lucy, wake up. Uh, which I should have put now. But, um, yeah. but yeah, at the Academy Awards. And um, why? Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad that we did this. I, I'm glad that you took the time to do this because um, you have such a interesting Hollywood life. And you grew up there. I right? did. Hey, anyone listening who's in LA, this sat can I say where I'm going to be yeah, this yeah, Saturday? Yeah, I was going to ask course. you to plug because it sounds fun. Yeah, this Saturday, I'm going to be at the Hollywood Museum, which is at Hollywood and Highland in Hollywood, the heart of the Max Factor building where Lucy got her hair colored um, red, orange, Auburn. I mean, whatever, you know, <laughs> the Lucy look. Um, but a lot of people are going to be there to sign their books for the holidays, including, I can never pronounce his last name, George, George. Shakaris. Shakaris from West High Story, Academy Award winner. Yeah. Uh, Dee Wallace, who was on e the E.T.'s mom and other things. Kathy Garver, who played Sissy on Family Affair. Yeah. Ruta we, Lee. We know Kathy. Yeah. Ruta Lee, who's been in. A lot of Lucy shows. Oh my gosh, everything. Just wrote a book. The um, one with Milton Burrow, she was in that. I know, that was such a good episode. Um, but she's done so much and it's a phenomenal book. Um, I'll be there. Jerry Jewell from The Facts of Life, who was oh, not yay. on the show last night, but she was yeah. in the audience. But oh, she was okay. in the audience. Um, Judy Tenuta, who, who's a riot. Um, and a lot of other people. So if you're in town, uh, just go, hi, Mickey. Um, <laughs> just go and to the Hollywood Museum this Saturday from 11 to 4. I'll be there. And plus, you could walk around the whole museum. And that's worth the price of admission. Wow. Which like 15 bucks, $12. That's, for, uh, that's a great way to do because some of those trade shows, you don't, this, this autograph no. show, you don't get to. You're no. at their hotel or something. So yeah. that's but everyone's that's gonna be there. It's gonna be so and I oh Anson Williams from Happy Days. Oh nice. fun. He's there. And I'm missing some other people, but it's gonna be a fun day. Before we go, I do wanna Henry just shared that Lucy apparently was the only celebrity to get the full episode on entertainment tonight for her death. I mean, you were talking about how iconic she was. Right. That is surely the 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 thing we all know and about her is she is an icon. <laughs> that entertainment yeah. tonight was such a great episode. I mean, you were in it. Well, that yes, it was only no. That, was that's the first time I. That's the first time I saw you. I was uh, uh, crying in, student <laughs> in Kalamazoo, yeah. Michigan. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was such a sad. The goat. Well uh. But don't end on that way. You know. No. You can end. But and buy your book, thelucyfan.com. Check out. Uh, Michael's book. I had a ball, and we are. We had a ball. Yeah, we did. I love that. isn't we that did. a great title? I yeah, had a ball. it is. It yeah. is. It's really fun. Well, thank you, Michael, so much. Well, I thank you, I'm, uh, Patrick. You look great, Teresa. You look great. Nice to Thanks. see you again. So do you. So do you. We'll, so we'll fun. see you next time, and say hi to Henry next time. And Bill love likes the book. Great book. Yay! Thanks, Yay. Bill. Bye. Thank you, Bill. Bye. All right. Good night. Bye, Michael. Thanks to everybody who joined us. Like we said, we want to Yay. talk about uh, this was great. So you post in that one. Shall I post it? There, I right. put it up. Yep. Thank you, Henry. Thanks for joining Oops, us. Sorry. The, the problem is Patrick and I now both have access to posting. <laughs> yes. You're going rogue on me. <laughs> so I'll do the posting. I'll do the posting. You great. tell who our next guest is. Our next guest is artist Henry Lamar. And uh, I was going to grab uh, some of his uh, work. And um, didn't I was going to put up a, a slacker? A, He's such a slacker. I know, right? Um, 
but he's an amazing artist and he has got a Lucy connection as well. So this month is just becoming a Lucy celebration, if you will. Um, let me see if I can well, find that, it. No, we should go because okay. Michael's got to get on a red carpet again. So we got to, we got to wrap it up so that man this can get true. back out into Hollywood. So to Tune in, follow us on Fub, uh, Fubble Entertainment on uh, social media, and um, you'll get notices about our next guest. There so as we always say, gotta go. Gotta go.